Good morning, today we're here at Target. We're gonna check out some of the shelves, check out some of the prices, and some of the things you guys have asked about. Let's get to it. We're also gonna be doing some price checking to make sure that some of the prices that they have up on the shelves are the prices that they really are. Uh, we did this a couple weeks ago and they had not changed a lot of the prices. I did mention something, but we're gonna check out some of the hot items to make sure that the prices uh, match up with the stickers. So as soon as we come into Target here, I just wanted to point out that they have the goldfish that a couple people have asked about that you've had trouble finding are $1.89 a bag here. That is the cheapest we've seen it anywhere. Uh, we saw it at Meyer the other day for $2.09, and we've seen it at as high as $2.19, so good deal here. We do notice that they finally changed their Progresso prices to $1.99. Uh, they, because <laughs> they had on the shelf $1.49 forever, they finally changed the price, $1.99 a can. Uh, still cheaper than a lot of places, $2.49 at Kroger and $2.09 at Meyer. One thing I always recommend at Target is that you check out right at the front of every Target. They always have like special deals going on of the week. One good deal I see here to make this still a dollar a piece. They have the Kraft macaroni and cheese, the regular box here of macaroni and cheese, not the creamy cheese, the powder cheese. Uh, but that brings it to a dollar a piece. We've seen those as high as a dollar nineteen, dollar twenty nine. For a box now they've really shot up lately but you can usually find deals on these okay so i kind of wanted to start in the back here this week uh, a couple weeks ago we were we usually start from the front when we come in here and work our way down the food aisles but i wanted to hurry up and check on the pet food um they do have some deal going on buy two get a free five five dollar gift card target gift card seems like a pretty good deal i did want to show that they are a lot lower on the canned cat food than I've seen in a while. Um, Purina one. I don't know how much these were. 95 cents seems a little high. Okay, so in the past, Target has always been a place that I've recommended as kind of a backup to get your cat food, cat litter, stuff like that. They've always had a lot. If you look behind me here, it is near empty. Word has gotten out that cat food and dog, you know, even dog food. Some dog foods we're seeing. Uh, have kind of left the shelves uh, it's very empty very empty um, I don't know I know I tell a lot of people and we have a lot of viewers who use chewy.com so in case you're having trouble finding your pet food I would try chewy.com uh, if you spend $49 I believe you get free shipping after that so that's something to look at it's kind of surprising I've never seen pet food this empty here at Target and that goes for cat litter too uh, we've been seeing that more and more cat litter has kind of gone out the door, but I mean, they have like none. They got a couple of these big things. They have some of the tidy cats. Look at this price though. $13.99. $13.99. Who's buying this stuff? Uh, you can get it at, I, I don't know if it went up at one. Prices are going up every day with everything going on right now. Gas prices, diesel prices, stuff like that. Uh, that you know, things are going to continue to rise, unfortunately. Uh, that's why I'm trying to bring this to your attention of the things that we have right now, you know, and what the prices are. Prices have not gone up on Fancy Feast here, 75 cents. Um, you know what, this will be one of the things I check here. Uh, we're going to check some of the price. Uh, we're going to go to the price scanner and check out some of the different things that I think that have gone up in other stores just to see if they've raised them here. Uh, I know the Shebas are up to $1.09 at Kroger. 89 cents here. We're going to check this out too because I know a, we've gotten a lot of comments on these. This is just kind of sad for Target. Um, this has been the place. This has been kind of the hidden gem that we've been able to find a lot of pet food. But I don't know. I guess people caught on. Um, some of the prices are a little cheaper here. That could be why too. But we're seeing this everywhere and we've gotten a lot of comments on pet food lately. So I wanted to come back here right away and check on it. They have condensed their dog food into one aisle here this used to be two aisles now it's just one they do have a lot of the caesar um a lot of the caesar packets there that people have asked about but all they really have is pedigree we see pedigree everywhere haven't really had too much of a, uh, trouble with that don't see any alpo and purina one they have here dollar 69 a can though seems a little pricey uh, but it's $1.69 a can for pedigree here, too. So 
I don't know, we may have to look elsewhere. Since there was a recall on baby formula, I wanted to come over and check and see what they have. Gotten a lot of comments on this over the last couple weeks, so just wanted to make sure that uh, they were still getting it in. They do have some empty aisles here, which they have had the recall, so I assume that a lot of the Similac powder is still out. They haven't been able to get it back in. Um, we're seeing this more and more all around the city. No baby formula, no cat food, very little dog food. It's kind of disturbing. Um, you know, right off the bat here, I wanted to check these things out because we've gotten a lot of comments. Uh, people have sent me emails of some of the things going on with the baby formula. It is, it's pretty disturbing. It's something that we're having a lot of recalls on. Recalls, recalls, recalls every week. You know, and it's um, not just baby food, but a lot of food, lettuce, different things. It just seems like something different every week. Also, quickly, I wanted to mention that me and Jessica are going to Gatlinburg this weekend. So stay tuned for that. We're going to have a lot of videos coming out of some things, you know, traveling around the country, looking at some of the prices, gas prices. Uh, it shot up to 409 a gallon here today. That's the highest I've ever paid for gas. Uh, we're going to be checking out some of those things. We're going to have some fun videos um, to make sure that you get all of our videos, make sure you click the notification bell down here below and click to all notifications so you don't miss anything. Okay, so one thing that they still have not changed the price on is the apple juice. $2.69. I'm going to go ahead and grab one and scan it again just to make sure the price didn't go down. We do notice that the Ocean Spray did go up to $2.99. Now this is up from $2.89 from the last time I bought one, which has been a while. We're just going to grab a random one here and uh, see if that's the right price. I did want to point out that this is about the best place to buy the family size bag of Oreos. You're not seeing a uh, misprint here. Uh, this was $3.79. I'm gonna go ahead and grab one here and check that again. We did check it a couple weeks ago and it was actually $3.79. Um, there are some here for $4.39 though, the mega stuff. But we're gonna check this out. I was, We were all surprised that this was still $3.79 because this is almost $5 pretty much everywhere. So we'll check it again. Some of you guys have mentioned the Belvita breakfast cracker things. It's pretty good. I actually like them. They go, to, they go really good with coffee. We do notice the price did go up from the last time I checked. It was $2.99, now $3.69. So we might have missed uh, one part going up on this. It could have been $3.19, $3.29. Haven't seen them in a while. They've been, you know, as you can tell, there's not many. And again, we've been hearing more and more about Ritz crackers kind of going out the door. We really haven't had this issue, but I know a lot of places around the country have. They are $3.29 now. Um, $3.29, that is up from $3.19 from just a few weeks ago. Uh, and, and then that was up from $2.99, which was pretty much the stable price there for a bit. These Triscuits, I know they've gone up to $3.19, I believe $3.29 at Kroger. Uh, these prices have gone up so much, so fast, it's hard for me to keep up. Uh, normally I'm pretty good with uh, numbers here, but I don't know, it's a lot of stuff. We're going to check the price on that one. So at the beginning of the video, I was up front and we were checking on the goldfish. Um, it may not be the regular goldfish, but something they have here that they didn't have up there was buy two, get one free. So buy two, get one free. That's a great deal. Somebody was asking about Reese cups and the comment about Reese cups kind of blew up. Everybody was looking for Reese cups all of a sudden. <laughs> um, they do have the jumbo bag here of the mini cups. Um, buy one, get one 25% off. Uh, we saw that they had the regular giant bag at Kroger, like the regular full-size Reese cups, $8.99 for about the same weight. Uh, I think it was two pounds, two pounds, three ounces. I want to point out that they have their Starbucks coffee on sale, and I'm not going to check this because this does have an expert. Wait a minute. Okay, to March 26. So this don't expire to March 26 on the Starbucks Keurig pods. Uh, save three fifty each when you buy two. So that is a little bit of a deal there. Uh, as you guys know, we buy ours at uh, Sam's Club, which, you know, even that's going up in price. They did have it on sale, 72 pods at Sam's Club for $31. So that's where the best deal is. But they also have this on the Dunkin' Donuts, which is only good till March 19th. Uh, so yeah, you really got to check the stickers on just about everything. Save $3.80 each, bringing this down to $13.49 a piece when you buy two. So 
that we have gotten some comments on peanuts, particularly honey roasted peanuts and honey roasted almonds, or not almonds, but uh, cashews, which the only place surprisingly we've seen those is Big Lots of all places. But I did want to point out the Good & Gather brand, buy one, get one 25% off. They do have the honey roasted. We got good comments on these honey roasted and they're hard to find. We have been seeing them at Kroger. Uh, Kroger's actually has them on sale. I believe they're $1.99 right now. Um, but buy one, get one, 25% off. It's pretty, pretty decent deal, all considering. And who knows, by the time, the next time we get to Kroger, they could be up in price. We just, prices are going up so fast, it's hard to keep up. But here I'm kind of showing my point that it's really, I just don't see a lot of these getting bought up. These uh, big canisters of the Good & Gather, $14.99, that's why. I feel like that price is a little high. Maybe, you know, when they when they were on sale for $12.99, it seemed like they were selling more of them. But, yeah, that just seems a little expensive. You do see that their giant cereal finally went up. I won't even scan this because I know they changed the price. It was $3.99, now it's $4.99. This, this was a deal last week, but you know what? We don't even really know because we never did scan this, so... Um, $4.99 for a giant size, which is pretty equivalent to the uh, giant size at Kroger for the same price. Which I have a feeling at most stores, especially most big grocery chains, we're going to start seeing the prices kind of catching up to the same. I have a feeling, it, like especially things like cereal, I think it's going to be the same at Meyer eventually. And the same, obviously the same at Kroger. Kroger kind of, I feel like, sets the standard for what the prices are going to be in the other stores not too much longer so we can basically take what we find at Kroger and if we remember what sales we saw at Target it might be a good idea to go to Target to buy those sales before they go up here too. Be like this regular box of Frosted Flakes is $3.99 at Kroger. It won't be long before they go up here as a matter of fact I'm going to check because I bet it's probably gone up and they just never changed it. This looks like an old sticker. Now we did check the Del Monte canned vegetables uh, about a week and a half ago and they were still a dollar 19 so i'm not gonna since we've already checked that i'm gonna leave that alone for a week because um, that's probably that price so we saw that that was that price still at meyer too surprise surprise they haven't gone up yet at kroger they are a dollar 50 a can we got a lot of comments on the ben's original ready rice i'm gonna pick the one here that everybody seems to comment on the jasmine and we're going to check in on the price scanner here because we've seen that this has shot up to $2.49 at Kroger. We did notice that the Campbell soups did go up. They finally changed the sticker. They were $0.99. Cents. Now they're $1.19. And you know what? This is something I am... Okay, now that's the cream of mushroom. Uh, let's find a chicken noodle. Okay, so we've seen that this is $1.89 a can at Kroger, and we saw that it was a dollar. It went up to $1.89 at Meyer. So you better believe it's going to be going up here soon. We're going to check, make sure it's still $1.19. Okay, I'll tell you what. This is kind of frustrating right here. Um, so these are $1.99 a can. We saw it up front. They even had the price up there. Why have they not sent? I have talked to a couple people. That these prices were wrong nobody has come back and fixed this um you know i and you know whatever uh i'm gonna check this again just to make sure that it's a dollar 99 and i know that campbell went up i can't remember if it's a dollar 69 or a dollar 79 but we're gonna check the chunky and uh see how much that is let me say that i like target i do i you know we buy some clothes here we get uh different things don't usually do a lot of grocery shopping here but we will come for like those things that you can get good deals on snacks some some snacks some stuff just just writes a lot of stuff down you know so it's like we know where the deals are uh, we work as a team on this effort to try and save us money and you guys money the one thing that's frustrating is that I, I just don't understand why they can't come back here and change the prices I, I've told a couple managers I also wanted to point out they never changed this. A couple specific items I told them about was the Progresso, the Campbell's Chunky, and the Kraft. This is $3.79, not $3.19. I'm half tempted to buy a couple of these, but I'm not going to do that. Um, but you know what? If you came in here and you pulled it off the shelf, what I recommend is 
I know you probably don't want to take a lot of photographs, but if it's something you have in question, I would definitely take a picture of it or check the price checker like we're about to do. I'm not even sure that this is the price anymore for the Thomas Bagels, $3.49. So if I was to come in here and didn't know any better already, I would get those for $3.49. Now, I mean, they may still be that price, which is awesome because we've seen that it's gone up to three or four nineteen pretty much everywhere for a thing of Thomas bagels. It's kind of hard for me because part of me actually likes to do this, likes to go, and I know we got a, a big response from checking the stuff at the price checker. It's, it's fun. It is kind of fun to do something different. At the same time, I hate to be the bearer of bad news when I'm finding things that aren't the right price that are on the shelves that the stickers say the wrong price. So. Uh, but it is kind of interesting to do this, but at the same time, you know, kind of not. Okay, so we've reached the price scanner here. We're going to start checking out some things. I did want to mention that when I'm done, I always put this stuff away. I'm not the guy that just throws it in an aisle and forgets about it. I do put each item away. First item up for list is Frost Flakes $2.99. Still $2.99. All right. Now this is the random ocean spray juice. They're all listed as $2.99. $2.99, okay, all right. Some good deals here still at Target. Progresso soup, now we know that this is gonna be $1.99 because that's what it was up front. $1.99, not $1.49. I think the Campbell's is $1.69. $1.89, boy, I was way off. Okay, yeah, $1.89 a can now. I just hope that people are paying attention to the prices so they know at the register. That's the one thing I will say is that always watch the cashier ring up your stuff to make sure it's getting it, you're getting it for the price that you saw it on the shelf. $1.99 for the Ben's Original Ready Rice. I would run to Target right now and buy a bunch of these if you need them. Uh, $2.49 a bag. $2.49 at Kroger, which means this will be going up here soon eventually. They still had the Mott's apple juice back there for $2.69, but we know that it's $2.89. Yep, $2.89. One I'm curious about is the Triscuit. We've been seeing this for like $3.19. Uh, okay, it is $2.79. Something else that is worth making an extra trip to Target for. We got the family size Oreo cookies here. $3.79. Still on sale. Still on sale. Four, um, four seventy nine dollars at Kroger. The moment of truth. Is this a dollar nineteen? We know it went up from ninety-nine cents. Dollar nineteen. That's great. Now we buy ours at Sam's Club, which we got it on sale. I think it was nine something for twelve of them the last time we were there. But normally they're like ten ninety-eight for twelve of them. Um, okay, dollar nineteen though. If you can't get Sam's Club, this is the place to get it. Now on to our pet food with the Sheba pack here. Okay, well that is 89 cents. Awesome. We've seen these as high as a dollar nine. I believe it was a dollar nine at Kroger. And then we have the Fancy Feast can here. They still have for 75 cents. 79 cents. Okay. So yeah, Target is good for things, bad for others. We noticed that a lot of things in the store seem to, you know, every store seems to have their stuff that they sell for a better price. That's what they do to get you into that store. I feel Target is no different than any other store. A lot of things they're going to have better deals on. A lot of things are going to be worse. Um, you know, it just, it just kind of depends on what you're getting and how you want to shop. Like, we don't come in Target to buy produce or, you know, meats and stuff like that. That stuff's always going to be really expensive here. However... You know, for things like snacks and stuff, some of the things that we saw here that were really cheap, Ben's Ready Rice, you know, that's 50 cents cheaper a bag uh, than Kroger right now. And we do notice that the Capri Suns have gone up to $2.69. Uh, those were $2.39, the same as Kool-Aid. I'm not going to price check anything else today. I just wanted to pick out a few random items just to show that, you know, yes, there are some deals you can get, but some things there... They need to get these stickers on the shelves. I'm not going to mention it again. I've already told them twice. Um, they'll just have to honor the deals, I guess, as they come along. I just hope people are paying attention.
So Target has their Gatorade still getting in 32 ounces. This is surprising because a lot of stores were seeing the 28 ounces. Uh, Kroger's doesn't have the 32 ounces anymore. And as a matter of fact, they have the 28 ounce ones and they've gone up to $1.50. Somebody told me that the other day and I thought it was a typo or something. I was at Kroger the other day, didn't do a video there. We will be doing a video there tomorrow and checking their sales for the week. But $1.50 for a Gatorade and 28 ounces. So you got the shrinkflation and the super rising cost. So I did want to come back and double check just to make sure I was right about the fancy fees. Yes, this has gone up four cents, uh, 75 cents. It scanned 79, which we've seen that fancy feast has gone up a little bit. It is 80 cents a can now at Kroger, 76 cents a can um, at Walmart. It went up one penny at Walmart, which is really weird, but um, anyway, yeah, it's about the same as it is everywhere else, but just surprising how empty it is. Well, guys, that's going to do it from Target today. Uh, it's kind of fun checking some of the prices and everything. A little scary with the pet food. This has always been kind of the fallback. This has been, okay, we can't find it anywhere. Let's go to Target. Well, there's less and less. Obviously, with the baby food recalls, the formula recalls and all that stuff, we're kind of expecting to see less didn't expect to see that less, but you know what? Um, these recalls, something has to be done about them, especially with baby formula. That's ridiculous. That is unacceptable. But guys, thank you so much for joining me today. With all that being said, I am out. And always remember, the adventure is out there.